Hello to everyone. Effectively, I would like to uh, present briefly the, the Ecuador's experience, specifically of the inter in institutional committee on the tobacco control and how to accelerate the implementation of the framework convention and also to combat the interference of tobacco industry in our country in the indexed uh, report on inter interference in the chapter on Ecuador, that which was included, it is evident that the tobacco industry is targeting, targeting uh, government agencies outside of the health sector. Usually the health sector has been leading in ministries, health ministry has been leading the the work to uh, tackle the impact of the tobacco on health of people. But the interference in our country is now being led outside of the sector uh, because uh, public officers and leaders uh, in other sectors are more vulnerable and uh, their uh, strategy has even uh, got uh, to the level of presidency and vice presidency and sectors that have been involved with the issue with the in relation to the business to the trade to the industry to tax to the customs and especially uh, the interference in the legislative uh, assembly in the formulation of uh, policies uh, those are spaces of interference, new spaces by the tobacco industry. And as a recommendation, we established the need of a national mechan mechanism and uh, send, uh, coordination centers for the tobacco control. At the, in Ecuador, this process is 1998 in a scenario of a political decision to support uh, inter uh, integrated uh, approach uh, with a family health and the prevention strategy. And this allows the creation of intersectoral committee that begins working in 1989, uh, 30 years ago. This committee and its parties have been promoting and allowed the signature of Ecuador to as a party of the framework convention and uh, she has activities to uh, promote the information of the framework through the bill in 2011 and is recognized as the national coordination body for the control of tobacco where converge many agencies of the state, the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Defense, later Tourism, Ministry, Human Rights, uh, Ministry, uh, Social Development, Ministries converge in that space. And in that council, that committee form the, uh, is also the importance of uh, civil society organizations like the Ecuadorian Women's Association, uh, environmental uh, organization, NGOs, uh, who are uh, really leading uh, many efforts uh, throughout last decade, like uh, advancing and implementing uh, a policy towards uh, marketing graphics. Uh, those are kind of elements that have been developed thanks to the participation of civil society. And I was also to flag two elements that are basics, that are that are uh, key for the space of uh, participation. The community participation is key from civil society, allows for the vigilance and monitoring of the norms and the standards, like the labeling of foods, uh, in the case of uh, non-complying of uh, the laws of uh, tobacco policies, and it really becomes uh, uh, like a, a third party uh, during the meetings between the state and the tobacco industry, like with uh, with the tobacco, uh, like the food uh, industry. 
So there's a multi-sectoral par participation. It allows the participation of other sectors beyond health sector because that, their input is also, is also important. And also the participation of decentralized government at the third level, provincial governments that have we've seen in the, during the pandemic who have a key responsibility and the leadership, fundamental leadership in the field of uh, public health. This bringing them, all those sectors together has been working great. And when we had more resources in our state to uh, promote this kind of uh, diverse participation. Finally, I would like to express that the structures uh, define uh, the, uh, the structure of uh, leading to a joint uh, declaration and throughout the last year and the pandemic, taking advantage of the crisis of the uh, coronavirus, the tobacco industry has tried to uh, push uh, modification or interfere on the contraband and illegal trade uh, law. From the Legislative Assembly, we called upon the Health Ministry, the SILA, in uh, for formulating the ex expansion of bonds uh, to tobacco industry to compensate the reduction of their sales because, uh, because of illicit uh, trade. Thanks to uh, actions, intersectoral actions and that co national coordination mechanism with uh, academia and uh, scientific sector, we were able to push forward uh, to the power. From the point of view of civil society, from activist point of view and other entities beyond state entities, we need to work in, in the intersectoral way, coordinating and strengthening other networks of uh, national, regional, local and international actors. Our experience is that only uh, working together, uh, all the ones that are battling with the same objective, we can advance more effectively. Thank you.